Hi everybody, my name is Ivan. And this week we, would, we continue our series where we find out that God is with us wherever we go. Last week we heard all about how God protected Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego when the king got so mad with them he threw them all into a fire. God was with them and sent an angel to look after them. Let's join in with this month's song and then find out what Oli has to tell us that he has found in the Bible. to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. 
Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. <laughs> it's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh, but you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm, let's help her watch, okay? Everyone look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow, it's a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, baby Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story. And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Wasn't that a great story? So, as you can see, I am playing with these toys today. I've got some blankets, I've got a um, little bucket, I've got a baby, um, and a little baby carrier. I wonder if you could grab anything that uh, looks like this. It could be a cuddly toy, uh, any type of box, or uh, tea towels, or any little blankets. Um, that we could use for our activity today. And maybe you could ask your grown-up to press pause while you go and find those things. Everybody got them now? Great. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to take our little baby and we're going to put him or her into... We're going to wrap him up. You think I'd remember how to do the swaddling? Wrap them up nice and tight. Keep them nice and warm. I'm gonna put little baby in here. And then I'm gonna put this little blankie over him. Just to keep him nice and warm. And this um, reminds us of the story we heard today about uh, the baby who was in the basket. And his name was Moses. And his mummy knew that God would take care of him and that he takes care of all of us. Great work. Your babies look so snuggly in their baskets. Our Bible story today to, uh, was about a baby who was put in a basket and his name was Moses. And his mommy knew that God would take care of him and that he, God, takes care of all of us too. Let's do our memory verse. I'm going to say the memory verse and then everybody watch me. God is with you wherever you, we're going to march on the spot, go. Should we do it together this time? Here we go. God is with you wherever you go. And we're marching. Doing so well. Should we do it together one more time? God is with you wherever you go. And that's in Joshua 1 9 in the Bible. So let's uh, use the toys that we used from our last activity to uh, uh, remind ourselves of our bottom line. In our story, we learned that Moses. Uh, was put into a special basket that his mum made. So let's get him wrapped up again. Ooh. After she put Moses in the basket, she and his sister Miriam put him in the tall grass near the reeds. Let's pretend to put Moses' basket uh, in the tall grass. I'm going to put mine right over here and it looks like it's nice tall grass over there. Um, they, uh, they hid Moses in the tall grass so they wouldn't be taken away by the mean pharaoh. Baby Moses' mummy knew that he would be safe because she knew, and here's our bottom line, God's got it. God's got Moses. Just like God took care of baby Moses, he would always take care of you. He's always with you, so don't ever worry because God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it. I wonder if you could use your, your toys to tell someone else the story. Perhaps you could tell someone in your family or a friend at school. That's your challenge for this week. So before we say goodbye today, let's use our scrapbook. 
to remind us of all the things we've learned. Last week, we learned about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and that God was with them no matter what. And this week, we learned about Moses being put into a basket and hidden in the thick reeds by his mom and his sister, Miriam. And this is the verse we looked at, uh, uh, of the story we looked at this week, of how God takes care of me and you, and the story is of Moses in the basket, and that is in Exodus 1, 22 to 2, 10. And here's our prayer. So, remember what we do? Hands on heads, hands on shoulders, hands on knees, hands together. Let's say our prayer. Dear God, help me to know that you will always look after me. Amen! I hope you've had a great uh, time with us and we look forward to spending some more time with you next week.